Cheers, no advisory podcast. And we're back with another live show, man. It's your boy, C.O. McClain. It's your girl, Ashby. Yeah, and the boy next door to do from school to jerk at work. Hey! Shout out to Shot Boogie. Shout out to E Class. Shout out to Mercy Diamond. Guy Maker. Shout out to P Fine. She had the um, EP release. Yes, day. I was watching it live yeah. as much as I could. You know I had to cut it off. But yeah. she looked good. I like that bodysuit, girl. Yeah, she had it glittery and all that. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a dope event. I know? liked it. it was sexy. Yeah, boy. sexy, intimate. You know, it was R and B, R and B vibeish. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, shout out to P Fine. Yes. Man, man. It was a great event the other night. Um, shout out to Kate Digital in the background, you know what it is, the camera, the what up, Kate? Kate Kate been grinding, he's been working, man. That's right. That's that. Let um, me tell you, Kate, it's going to pay off in the end when you get to retire by 35. Right. And the Kyrie Irving age, because he just said he want to retire in his mid-30s. Oh, did he? Yeah, he said, like, I guess, I'm thinking like 34, 35. That's the <laughs> Goals. Do what you love, you love what you do. You that's know what I'm right. Saying? That's so, right. But Kate is not work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's, I, that's why I, I can't talk, man, but. Mm-hmm. Um, it's work. You do what you love, you love what you do. Absolutely. Right. That's a given. That's a given. Um, who else out there? Did I forget anybody? Um, anybody? No, I don't think so. Oh, if I did forget, my bad. My Petty P in the we, building. We adjusted so we... for these Sundays. You know, Sundays is usually yes, more right. calm days. Saturdays yeah. is like, yeah. we got too much shit going on Sundays. Like, I just can't. Just right. Shopping, all types of shit. Mm-hmm. Laid back. Oh, uh, have y'all started song. Christmas shopping? Uh, I'm yeah. done. Nigga, I was at Bed Bath & Beyond getting them, over getting, them, getting, them, getting them candles the other day in that long. Oh, uh, yeah. are you a, a Bed Bath & Beyond or a Bed Bath & Beyond? That's what you get. <laughs> what you just put them on and get fags and just pass them out so to Oh, dear. You know what, Patty? That is nope, so I gave one basic. Of my lady, I, I gave one to my lady and then I did. Then I got one for my best friend and then I got I hope you got her more than Bath & Body Works. Huh? I hope y'all ain't no huh. You, if you can huh, you can well, hear. Well, I got a, I got, the, I got one of them. I got, a, I got her one of them candles. And what else? And Twenty five dollar candles. And what else? That's it from Bed Bath and Beyond. She got all that other stuff. Bath and Body Works. I said. Bed, it wrong. Bed, 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 Bath and Body Works. Yeah. yeah. It was only the other thing. It was like nine dollars for the candles. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five dollars. That's gonna be good smelling candle. Um, my wife wants some shit. She loves it. I mean, she they got, smell she so good. I thought the seat was like this long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she she like that. And then they had a good sale, so. Facts. That's up in there. Hi, topics. Yeah, I did that shit, oh, right? I did you Hi, topics. All the way up under the butt, nigga. Hi, topics. You definitely did it. talking about something else. You definitely did it. We're not going to say whether or not it was good or not. You know, no one but said you did it. it. Nothing good. Well, what's the matter? His little high topics. It's only good when I do it. It sounds kind of like like a little bit like creeper, like you like you drive a conversion van, or like you, you drive know? a white. I thought you were gonna say like you drive a white van. Like yeah, like, <laughs> like a conversion van, y'all. Yeah. Damn. You be saying that to pick little kids up. <laughs> 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 I'm done with you. Why you got Who you got? Oh wait, shout out to our very special guest who got come in the building, our little Richie. Oh and yes. Profit. Shout out to our guest. Yeah. Well, so as y'all know with the hot topics, we like just start with the bull and end on a good note. Right. Um, yeah. So starting out, we're going to talk about Juice World, y'all. Yeah, Unfortunately, man. he did die. Juice World, the talented young rapper and singer, which, okay, uh, whose career was just taken off is dead after suffering a seizure in Chicago's oh Midway gosh. Airport. According to TMZ, Juice's flight from California landed early Sunday morning, and after deplaning, witnesses tell us he suffered the seizure while walking through the airport. Law enforcement sources say he was bleeding from his mouth when paramedics got on the scene. We're told Juice, real name Jared Anthony Higgins, was still conscious when he was transported by Chicago Fire. However, he was pronounced dead short time later at the hospital. The cause of death is unclear mm. at this time. So wow. that's, that's, that's tragic. He just celebrated his birthday. He just turned 21. Just turned 21. Yeah, and my son, shout out to my kid, was playing me a song wherever he said um, something where he was he knew he was going to die before 21. So he was already crazy a lot of music. So. Right. It was loud up there. They having a party. Um, yeah, so I guess a lot of his music hits. He sings that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a real, that's a real like that I mean, song. And the thing about that whole situation is like, mm-hmm. you know, he's 21. A lot of these, you know, young artists, they young and they, you know, 
all types of pills, mix all types of medications That's, what, that's the same thing. You know, that's the same thing I was thinking. Like, I think it was, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to put nothing, being that it's unclear how he died, you right. don't want to put nothing out there. But, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these rappers, you got to, if you was rapping about doing that, I'm assuming you, do, you did it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, nonetheless, rest in peace and, you know, right. He's where he is, and his family, that's who you want to pray for right man. now. You know man. what I mean? So Yeah, man. Rest in peace of Juice World, man. Just yeah. tell 21. That's sad. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so moving on. So y'all, three men charged with the with capital murder and the killing of Joshua Brown, the witness in the Amber Geiger murder yeah. trial. Mm -hmm. So they finally charged those three guys, which... After all this time? All the damn all, time. Wow. This shit then got old on the nigga. I mean, and that's what they want. They want mm -hmm. for people to forget it. They want the potential jury pool to forget it so they can have a fair trial, which right. I don't know. This whole thing, I'm not going to be going back and forth with this case with y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Right. This whole thing is just, it's fishy. We still side eye in y'all Texas, mm -hmm. and we on y'all ass. Don't think we done forgot. Right. Just because it's not hot in the media, don't think it ain't fresh on our brain. Right. That's the thing about it. People think we done forgot. We ain't forgot. Right. So we have not forgot. So what are they charging with again? Um, so they have been charged with capital murder. Um, so the three men charged with capital murder, three men have been identified in the murder of Joshua Brown mm -hmm. and are facing capital murder charges. Joshua Brown was shot multiple times at a Dallas apartment complex on October 4th, just a few days prior, Brown mm -hmm. testified on the stand against former Dallas police officer Amber mm -hmm. Geiger, in which they said that his testimony was pretty much the nail in the cop right. coffin. And people are saying, like, why wouldn't they kill him mm -hmm. prior to him testifying? You know, that's the main conspiracy that I'm hearing. Right. I don't think they ever thought that she was going to go to jail. Right. I don't yeah. think mm -hmm. I don't think that they thought that that was going to be a guilty verdict right. ever mm -hmm. but you know she had too much yeah, against I mean, her i mean some justice is better than no justice right so yeah you know that's how that go yeah I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not that hard for it bro. yeah they, i mean it's, 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 it's like you know it's, it's like so much information mm -hmm. and so much so many different situations that so you have to be with like, you can you it's like you never even get a chance to get over something so right. else you know it's like I'm still, like Sandra Bland still hurt my heart. And, you know, the, 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 you know, it's a couple other situations that, that they went down. Look, I think we stuff. all are suffering from, like, some traumatic, post-traumatic stress from all this shit that's been happening. That's I don't why feel I, like it's an overload. I feel like I'm being, I'm forcibly, I'm being forcibly desensitized. Mm, you see what and that's what you don't, and then mm. when you feel that petty, it's important that you, you stop and make sure you... Go to extra mile. Stop, I don't know care. how to stop what, like, stop consuming no, information. No, just go to extra mile to make sure you do care. You know, like, even how you mentioned yeah. Sandra Bland, you haven't forgot. Yeah, so that's right. something. You ain't too desensitized. No. Yeah, the man yeah. ain't took your heart yet. <laughs> it's something in there still. It's coming. Coming. Like ain't coming. no ice box where your heart used to be. I yet. got an ice box. Uh, my cup, you, you be. So cold. So cold. We did have to have an Omarion moment. I feel like that's important. What else we got? All right, so moving on, y'all. George Zimmerman is still walking oh, around. Oh, my gosh. It's like this shit. We talking about this dude. <laughs> talking about this dude. I mean, George Zimmerman, he's getting ready to file a $100 million lawsuit against Trayvon Martin's parents. Is how <laughs> a person who covers hot topics, how can I not cover that topic? You know what I mean? Jesus. You know what I mean? We What we need to be discussing is why My old forehead. boy is dead, you know, in mm -hmm. Texas that right. testified in the Amber Geiger trial. And George Zimmerman around it's here able to go down right. to the courthouse and file right. fucking cases. Hundred million dollar cases. He's That's alleging crazy. all type but of stuff. But you know what the lawyer and look at him. Yeah. looking. Look, but you know the lawyer, um, he got some yeah. he got Just like a history home. of like um <laughs> what's the he got like a history of doing <laughs> Like these kind of charges like against like black folks. Oh. Oh, I forgot what they called it. What something they called it? But he he got it's something with this lawyer. Nah, it's not an activist. Oh he wait, what are you lawyer. saying? Yes, it's something with him that they said they got um, pending um, cases out on him because he um, forgot read on something. It's, uh -huh. it's something entailing with black folks and how when they get off with the some some of the civil rights, something like that. So he says he also discussed in the book. In the film in a book, mm -hmm. the Trayvon hoax, 
unmasking the witness fraud that divided America, which claims Rachel Chantel, that was that mm -hmm. uh, young high school girl that testified. That testified yeah. yeah, Rachel Chantel was an imposter right. and mm -hmm. was not mm -hmm. the young lady on the phone right before Martin was murdered. Right. So y'all remember Trayvon was allegedly on the or he was on the mm -hmm. phone right. yeah. and uh, prior to mm -hmm. all this happening, yeah. she was a, who he was on the phone with. So yeah, yeah it's all it wasn't of, Zimmerman that did, it's the lawyer. Oh, okay. Or, or Zimmerman that pushed that. That pushed, what? Yeah. that pushed the lawsuit. That pushed the lawsuit. That pushed the lawsuit. So he has, a, he has a history of doing that oh. against black people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And then on top of that, Zimmerman can't get no job nowhere. He can't make no fucking money. You I mean, know Zimmerman what I mean? Zimmerman is, is a lost cause, man. He, he's, I think he's dead to the world. Especially he after is. this. He's really super dead. Like, I wouldn't mind if somebody did something. You know what's crazy? Yeah, I was just thinking, like, man, like, buddy is just like walking, like you, you just kind of, like, his. I don't think his life's gonna get better. Nah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's karma, man. Karma gonna catch up. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a, he's got. It's like uh, I, I was saying, that it's kind of feeling bad for the man because mm -hmm. I know he got a rainy cloud mm -hmm. over him. You know, and you it's got gotta be I'm empty sorry. feeling to, right. to to live like how he lives. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta think about it. All that energy, people, all the hate people have towards yeah. them. Can't nothing good from you coming. You know what I'm saying? It's too much yeah. hate out there on you, over you, For in your name. Good. Right. In your name. It's a lot of hate in your name. Like right. Yeah. Where are you going? Like, it ain't so, a lot of hate in your okay. name. Okay. It might be like four or five people that hate, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, you know right, saying? right. That hate any of us. You right. Know I mean? On an ordinary day. Oh, yeah. Nigga, yeah. millions? Yeah, yeah, you got so much hate. It's it's this cloud rainy, man. Right. Yeah, looking crazy. So moving on, y'all. The baby was on his way from New York City to Charlotte to perform at Power 98's Winter Block Party. Shout, Shout out to, to Power 98. Power 98. Morning mm -hmm. Madhouse always yeah, shining us out. They always showing us love. So. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, so New York to Charlotte to perform at the uh, Winter Block Party, but unfortunately, his jet experienced some technical difficulties. On the way to the show, he expressed his disappointment on Instagram. Nonetheless, he performed for the crowd through FaceTime, keeping his promise to everyone to, uh, you mm -hmm. know, stay tuned in because he's right. going to he's gonna make up for this. Right. So, That's yeah, I, I think right. it was... Yeah, yeah I mean... I like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, just a little you know what's crazy? I, I, like, how did that... How did it really go? Like, how did, how did, did you, have you seen? Yeah, he was just on FaceTime, they played his songs, and he was just on FaceTime, like, doing what he's doing in a jet. You know what I mean? It was nothing really, you couldn't perform. And, but you know, some people don't even do that. Right. Some people like, you know what, fuck so, it. So, so this is his hometown, so. Right, like, yeah, right. Show face. You know, no. drop the baby for that. That was absolutely, real, that was real Absolutely, real absolutely. Real. I like that. Yeah. I, I, I wonder, I didn't know, I didn't follow the fact, after the fact, did he end up getting there and then perform no, he never, no, got, he never he did. After party I think they actually, that. the next one, if you had your tickets, it's going to be, gonna be mm -hmm. free, right? Yeah. When I, Did they say when they're going to do it? They haven't yeah. said when they're going to do it, but we'll have to pop out with like a screen box. Yeah. Right. Yeah. P5 might be opening. Yeah. You, yeah. you yeah. never yeah. know. Yeah. We're going to put that yeah. in the air. Yeah. Put that in the air. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. That's that red dump. That's what it's dump. That's what it's dump. That's what it's dump. All right, so moving yeah. on, y'all. I really don't have anything else. I try to end on a good yeah, note. Yeah, I'm glad right? you ended on the baby note. Yeah, but, I, I, I did want to kind of end on a good note. The was morbid than the mother. Well, but you know what? I just <laughs> want to keep it, you know, to what's going on. Right. Uh -huh. I want to let y'all know and keep abreast of what's going on. Abreast. I like breast. We know you do. <laughs> Um, like breast. What, what what is that in your drink? What kind of is that kombucha? What is that? It's red wine. I only drink red I wine Merlot. Red wine. You so if y'all want to buy any, with some red wine. Shut up. I didn't pay for this cup. Because I've been seeing y'all joking. I paid for with a box of frenzy. No, promo, no, free promo. no, I'm about to put tape over it right. next time. But I've been seeing y'all jokers go in there, go straight to the soda machine, fill up your cup, and leave out the door. Meanwhile, I go to the register being an honest citizen. Right. Y'all know I got a guilty conscience. I'll right. be driving down the street and turn around. The infrastructure of that building is not right. You shouldn't build you shouldn't Able have no damn you. you shouldn't have no damn drink machines that were by the side door. Sometimes at <laughs> night they can like build that. Right, yeah, I don't think about that. Sometimes they be looking like they mad at me, like, bitch, why are you fucking paying for this? Yeah, 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 95 cents, oh, golly, you could have walked out the door. I'm like, well, shit, I'm trying to 
Yeah, it's going to go up on your ass. It's going to be 215 in a minute. That's a lie, and that's the day I'll stop getting it. Sure, man. Yeah, that wraps up hot topic. Y'all make sure y'all follow us on our Instagram and all that, all that. So we're going to take a little break, and we're going to be back with our very special guest, Little Richie. Cheers, No Bobby Podcast, and we are back, man. We got our very first, very special guest in the motherfucking building right now. Give round of applause for my man, Little Rich, right quick. Yeah. 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 Little Rich. Little Rich. Little What's good, man? So, for the people that don't know, let the people know who you are, where you from. The fuck you do, baby? What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Little Rich. You're rocking with you right now on No Advisory Podcast. Look here, man. For those that don't know, I am an artist, author, model, actor. Look. I do it all, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. We rocking with you right now. You're dead. That's okay. what I'm talking about. I love this motherfucking energy. Like, ah, like, no, that's right. That shit, you know? It was the hell of a like, drop. Huh? Oh, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> we will be using that, by the way. <laughs> that was a good that's a great plug. That was a great plug. Yeah, 15 right. seconds. <laughs> perfect. 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 Cut it. Cut. So we just was listening to the song, I Got the Bag. What is it? I Want the Bag, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I Want sir. the Bag. Produced by Zaytoven. Yes, sir. Right? Oh, okay. So, yeah. So let the people know a little bit about that. How did that, um, um... That relationship came about, how the song come about? Okay, so really, the way the whole Zaytoven situation came about was, me and, I was on a TV show called The Rap Game, and that's when me and Zaytoven was first introduced to each other. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's a TV show, so I really couldn't kick it with him the way I had wanted to. Right. But it's like out of sight, out of mind. So when I got eliminated from the show, you know, we, we weren't able to kick it the way we was. But I saw Zaytoven was holding this, hosting this event. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to go up there and, you know, get the, get my um jump start what I want to start right. doing. Cause I wanna right. like Zay Tone has always been a person that I idolize him, like just like, oh my god, I wanna work with Zay. Mm-hmm. So like when I saw the opportunity, you know, I had to make my move. So I went out there, Zay told me remember me and he oh. felt like I really got um robbed and he felt like he believed in my he he believed in my talent. So he right. was like, Man, come on man, that's that's work. Mm. So the rest is history. And apparently I impressed the dude because we ain't just stopped there. We got way more music right. coming, you know? Right. Because so. oh, so I saw, like, you know, on the Instagram and everything, kind of like y'all got, like, a nice relationship going on. It's, it's not like a just, you know, I did a beat, right. I rapped over a song, and that was it. Y'all kind of got, like, a friendship or, like, a close bond going on there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's dope. That's what's up. Now, where are you from? I'm from Charlotte, North You are Carolina. from Charlotte. Okay, okay. So, do you feel like the rap game, because I already know when people do reality show, they say right. editing and all that. Do you th- feel like the show portrayed you as an artist the way you wanted to be portrayed to the world? Because that was like your intro to the world. Right, <laughs> right, right. Well, it's reality TV. Right. You know, sometimes, most of the time, reality TV is not actually reality. Right. So, it's like... It was really like for ratings and everything was like mm-hmm. staged to jump start the show so that it can come off with a bang and so everything could just, you know, they give get you a topic interested. and y'all play off that yeah, topic for get everybody us. interested in the right. show. But, you know, I feel like I got the exposure that I needed out of the show. Mm-hmm. So I really look at it as a win and not a lose. You know, I make the best out of what happened. Right, yo, yo, I like that. So, yo, now that you didn't had a little taste, you didn't had a little peek behind the curtain, right? Mm-hmm. It, what what's the biggest difference that you noticed, or what's the biggest thing that you've you've uh, uh, I guess awareness that you've gained since you become semi successful as you've been going up the uh, up the chain and being more and more noticed? Something that you didn't know before you started. Now on this end, I said, right. "Yo, this is crazy. I didn't think it was going <laughs> right. to be like this." Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause industry is crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I always heard people tell me this and tell me that, but it's like one thing to realize it yourself firsthand, and then just just getting the experience yourself, other than somebody just telling you, you can understand where they're coming from and feel it. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't your friend in this industry. You know, right. don't let your don't let the opportunities just fly past you. When you see your opportunity, you have to go for it. You know, you can't right. just let it go out the window because. Right. Who's to say it's gonna come around again? You right. know, you gotta make the best of it the first time. Right, 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 right. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So you um signed to an indie label, right? Let's ride. Let's ride records. Let's ride records. So right. a lot of people, you know, when they come into the game, they want to be signed to like a major <laughs> label. They want major distribution. So for you being signed to your own imprint, Let's Ride, where do you guys want? As far as like distribution, or how do y'all want the majors to get involved in what y'all doing? Really, we just looking for a, a distribution deal. We don't, we don't, 
We ain't looking for nothing else because, mm -hmm. like, we got the talent, we got the label. We don't really need much. We don't need no money. We don't need nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. We just need to. We just need to distribute our music to all of these different marketing areas, you know, so to get it to everybody. Right. So it's just like a larger crowd that you're able to, you know, just get feed everybody instead of just feeding it from a little uh, group, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just opening the circle more. Right. Yeah. Because you're young, how old are you? I'm 14. <laughs> you fucking lying. Wait, hold up. Hold up. I, 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 now, I knew you time. was young. I didn't yeah. know you were young. But 14? I didn't think you were 14. Yeah. yeah. Little Richie, that's, you have a good head on your shoulder. Yeah. You oh. are wise. You've been here before. <laughs> you did. Yo, I, I'm you been here time before. He like 18, 19. <laughs> he had himself yeah. and way chose his and words. I, ha I have an eight year old yeah. son, and he, he loves you. Right. So it's like. How does it feel, like, gosh, I did not know you were so young. How does it feel, like, to, because I'm pretty sure you're around an older crowd being Most in this definitely. industry. Okay. How do you, and I know you got you got Big Rich over here to kind of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to right. be the, the one on your other right. shoulder, like, hey, hey, but how is it to be kind of mixed in with the adult crowd being so young, like... <laughs> Well, honestly, <laughs> see, like, just that. being in the industry that we are all in, you know, right. Like, you have to have a mature and um just like like you said been here before you have to have a mature mindset and mentality of everything so mm. it's like you want you you got to not so much as you got to be held to a certain extent but you have to realize what you you have to realize what entertainment industry you are in and mm -hmm. what way to go about situations right. you can't even if you are young you can't act like a young person you have to still have the same for you to be looked at and taken seriously as the same adults, you know what I'm saying? That you're not not necessarily in competition with, but you in the same yeah, market same range with. Right? So it's like you have to step up to that same mentality. Yeah, right. yeah. What they say, much given is much expected. To whom so much is given, given, much is required. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah so no, you sure. living up to it. So you know what I want to know, like to loop back to the point for the rap game, right? Because um, some artists they get on these platforms, these big, huge platforms, and you know, some of them thrive off of it, and some of them sometimes it helps their career, and sometimes the complete opposite. Right. For you, how do you feel being on there? Has it hindered your growth as an artist, or just put you in a light that you didn't want people to know? Or how has that transition been from the rap game and trying and coming out and being an artist? I feel like at first, because you know, anything you do, people gonna hate on. Right. I feel like at first it was hindering me, but I realize now. It wasn't hindering me at all. It was just basically making me stronger. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To just be more aware of the, what world that we are in today. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I feel like the rap game really helped my career. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I gained the exposure at the situation and it just mentally like made me stronger. And like just, I just grew so much from in a week's time frame that I was in there. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just became a, I just progressed, you know, as you get older, you mature. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like I did. Right. I like it. I mean, and then to um, to the point of just Charlotte, like you're an ambassador for for the Hornets. Yes, sir. Right, like I've been seeing Lil Richie out there doing these events and stuff. You slap boxing. <laughs> what's, what's the name? What's you slap boxing the, Hornet. Um, the Hornet. The Hornet. Uh, uh, you go. <laughs> you go. You go. Yeah. You know, like, like you know. So how did that? How how is um, being an ambassador for Charlotte? Like how was that intertwined with your with your career? It's just amazing because. I don't necessarily look at what anybody else doing, but I feel like just to put on for the city mm -hmm. at such a young age, because I really don't tell my age to people, you know what I'm saying? Because right. like it, sometimes it can take it's away and sometimes it can help, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, I don't really tell my age, but just doing it at such a young age, it helps me add more to my resume mm -hmm. and help me be looked at from a different standpoint. I'll be like, oh, he doing this, he doing that. He with the Charlotte Hornets, you know what I'm saying? It's major. Right. I, I ain't seen nobody else do that. Right. Mm -hmm. No, not like no rap man. artist. Right. Like this guy. Hey, Big Rich. Did, yeah, good job. Job. did a good yeah, job. Yeah, he did, did a great did job, brother. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Great job. All right, so um, I don't know. I got, I got. I'm gonna have my little paper here, right? <laughs> so, um, Gosh, you're right. He got his notes. Look how little it is right there, right right too. <laughs> so um, I got a couple of things we want. I'm gonna ask Little Rich, right? Okay. okay. So, well, this is Little Rich Faves. All right. So I'm gonna ask you ten. Phase and you're gonna give me the answers, alright? So first, favorite food. Mm. 
Uncle, 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 Uncle would like this pizza, man. Pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Pepperoni <laughs> or cheese? Right, what time? I, I like Supreme. Okay. Oh, everything on it. Everything. All right. Favorite basketball or football team? Charlotte Hornets and the Carolina Panthers. I put on. Boom! Oh man, oh, man, man. Hey. Good. Blue. 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 Uh -huh. I don't even necessarily pay attention to what the score record is. That's right. I just, I just, Good answer. I just know they out there doing their thing. They trying their best. That's they all are that's getting it. hurt. That's, a, that's that, that was the best politically correct answer. Hey, that's, it, that, that, that's a true blue though. That's, that's a facts. true blue. That's Absolutely. True blue. So that's what you got, Fa favorite artist. Mm. I don't even got a favorite that's artist actually. I listen to a lot of different artists because. You know, it's like you know, I'm an artist, not a not just a rapper. So right. it's just like mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of different genres, and you know what I'm saying. So I don't necessarily like just have one favorite artist. I should have said. But I, I mean, you cut me out. I was finna say that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like <laughs> let him finish. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite artist is myself. You know? There you go. I feel like that should be everybody's favorite artist. That's everybody's right. favorite artist. Okay. So. All right, your um, your favorite sport to play. Basketball. Basketball. I do it for fun. Not that I'm actually skilled in it, but I just do it for fun. Like I, it's something that I like to do. All right. Uh, Favorite pastime? I ain't got one. I, I, ain't, I ain't got an answer for that one. I ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We want to put an asterisk on that one. Graphics. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite... Nah, I can't say that. Yeah, I can say your favorite book you like to read. What? Oh, you know I'm an author. So yeah, I was gonna book, say. You said he was an author. Book, uh, it's called it's called the Know the Men Go Go Harder. It's a motivational book, and it's basically like telling my story. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's why I really love it so much because it's like not just is it my story, but I feel like everybody can relate to right. it. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like what's the name of the book? The Know the Men Go Go Harder. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a motivational book, actually. It was when I had first got um, eliminated from the show to rap game, and it's basically like. Well, you know, I went through a little depression at the moment, but it's basically about finding a motivation to come back. And I had to understand that sometimes man's rejection is God's protection. Oh, so okay, just that's a word. That. That's <laughs> a word. Really is, because sometimes he's protecting you for something else, because I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes the longer you stay, the worse off. A lot of people, they should have stopped a little earlier, you know what right. I mean? Because their reputation at this point, right. the things that they did afterwards, and probably felt like they had to do to kind of stay relevant. Like, uh, they name ain't. Your name is good on these streets, all right? <laughs> so good, I think that good. was a. All right, you right. got what? Three more? Your favorite television show? The Flash. The Flash. Yes, sir. All right. The Flash. That's on Netflix. Netflix. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. My favorite. Son like that, though. Yeah, he liked that. It's still on, right? Is it yeah. still on? Because I know they took. Um, Oh, you talking, talking about the old? You talking about the old one? Nah, I'm talking about the new joint. Yeah, the new one off Netflix. Yeah, it's still on. That's the long. I know they took off. Um, what's the other one? The guy he like he 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 drinks the coffee and get the woman and smash the. Dead pool. Not Deadpool. <laughs> it's the black dude. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Oh, they just yeah. said he drinks the coffee. I ain't even know they yeah. took that off. Yeah, take girl. He like just want some coffee. That, that was and he smash it. Sidebar, that was a real nigga superhero. Yeah, that was what right. was. Like, yeah, first of all, that probably happened. Did it happen in one scene and you just, that's his character? <laughs> right, right. Um, no, he, he, what you mean as far as getting the coffee? Yeah. No, he does that for like all of them. Uh, nah, like, nah. Oh, you talking about he take him out to get coffee? Yeah. Oh, man. but that's his point of smell. Every that's time? A, no, no, not every time. That's the that's the that's the wrong way to describe. That's the what I'm saying. Cause you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. That's the purpose like, in the world. I feel man. like that's how. You, I don't know nothing about you, Luke Cage. So that's now how you, you woman. how you describe him is every time he, he suggests. Yeah, like like he coffee. a womanizer and shit. <laughs> is he? That's no, how I'm taking the it. nigga's bulletproof and he's real strong. Right, right, right. Those are the two most important things you need in the hood to be a superhero. You need to be. Bulletproof, and you need to be very strong. And drink coffee. Yeah. No, no, see, I don't drink coffee, so we can go out for a Mountain Dew, I guess. I ain't know. All right, hold on. Let's get two more. Right? Yeah, two more. Yeah, that's Your right. favorite um, fast food restaurant? Fast food. Uh -huh. right. It's not even out here. It's actually in LA. I like Razor Kings. Oh, no, what's that? What kind of food they serve? Right over there. 
Yeah, yeah. Razor Cane. That's no, I never heard that one. Before. Yeah, it's out there in LA, like on the West Coast and everything. That that then what they serve? They sell chicken and, and like it's like uh Zach, Zach's Beef oh, 2.0. Oh, word. Oh, yeah. not 2.0. What's it called again? I love Zach's Beef. Oh, I heard that's my homegirl about yeah. that. My homegirl, yeah. Vanessa. I heard about it. Mm-hmm. Word. I like, I can't. Yeah. LA got a lot of it. Okay. Thank you. What's that place? Ain't that other place in LA where it got like that burger joint where you catch a heart attack? In and out. In and out. In and out burger. In and out. Well, now they got the Beyond Burger, so you ain't got to get all that beef. Listen, I don't really like burgers. You'll die a little slower. Okay. That's the goal in life. Die a little slower. Your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Mm -hmm. I had to say. Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Virginia, uh, but that came right. out. But that came out when you were born, that was. That's it. No. 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 I mean, yeah, it came out. I mean, we're born in 05, 06. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, wasn't born yet. definitely yeah. a throwback, throwback. Yeah. Lord, like, don't you get into your history. And my son was right. born in 03. He's 16. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he don't know nothing about it. Yeah. yeah I don't know nothing about that. He didn't show did it. Say, boys, you know. Rick! What you like? What you like? That? What, what? What? What about that? Uh, that movie? Like that? What stood out? What stood out about it? You know everything. You know uh, the main part. Of, like you said, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's. It, I feel like it was crazy though. What it happened? The way the situation happened. You know? Right. It just shows you how real things is is in life, and like how grimy situations can be. Yeah. Especially well, on the West Coast, it. though. On the West Coast, you know, it's like we on the East Coast, you know, in yeah. the South, you know, we think like gangbanging ain't really that serious. Oh, it's, right. it's, it's so serious, serious out there. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? You don't realize how serious it is. It's okay. petty it is. Right, we got yeah. one more. Yeah. You got one more? One more. You got a whole favorite list. country you, you would list. like to visit. I'm going to say Spain. Spain. Oh, look at you. Okay. Yeah. That's where they at. That's where they at. Why Spain? Why Spain? What they got? What they got? Put like us on now. Put us on. I know, but they they fair. fair. Yeah, I just like they see Spain is like so nice and so clean, and I feel like that's the place I want to go. I don't even really know too much about it. I just know what it looked like, mm. right. and I know it, uh, kind of foods they got out there. Yeah. Mm. What's one, what's that one country where they have like if you you can't like spit if you spit on the ground or something it's so clean like. You'll get fined. They arrest you. Is it Dubai? No, it's not Dubai. No. They, they got France? the drag. No, it's not France. I forgot. I don't know where it's, that's um, at. I think it's in Switzerland. It's one of them. And it's probably Signature like, you got to catch me first. There you go. Signature. Yeah, Signature. that one. Like, you, it's so clean. Like, yo, if you flick a booger, <laughs> you, you, they, they going to arrest your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how yeah. clean it is. That's how, that's how. Oh, I'd like, like to go there. Yeah, yeah. no, that's how you not going there. <laughs> right, right. I'd like to go there. Go there. Me and you going to be prisoners. I'm saw. saying you going to be filthy, filthy, you gonna filthy you gonna frickin' plane. animals. Yo, filthy you eat off the, you can literally eat off the floor. I'm not eating That's how clean it is. It's clean. That's what they say about Canada. About Canada? Yeah. I've been to Canada a couple times. Canada, and I feel like everybody in Canada is so pretty. I haven't seen too many ugly people from Canada. Oh. Oh man. Show me an ugly person from Canada. I have to go to Canada. No, I'm serious. I've never seen an ugly person. You're trying to say they're a super race out there. I mean, they got good jeans. I don't really like where you're going with this, Ashby. I mean, they got good jeans. What do you want me to say? I see beautiful people in Canada. I ain't never seen an ugly person out to Canada. Man, Drake. Drake comes from there. He's pretty. He's a handsome guy. That's it. That's it. Who else? Who else? Anybody know anybody? Just the Name somebody else that you know came from Canada. The people I saw when I went to Canada. Everybody was freaking pretty. They were beautiful. I didn't see anybody ugly. Anybody ugly? Are you not from here? Are you? Uh, no. I uh, think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't no ugly people in Canada. Messed up. Yeah, I mean, ain't no ugly people. R.J. Barrett from Canada. 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 Canada.
2019 Spotify had just wrapped in. We got my my stats have said two two hundred and sixty one thousand. Oh, that's big. So stream. So I want to say thank you to everybody that's listening right now. Yes. But for twenty twenty, I'm gonna be releasing some major stuff in the first quarter. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm not even just I like I'm saying major stuff because I'm not even just talking about music. Right. So. I like I got some more books coming. More books. I was gonna say you need to write more look, books. Look, I'm getting into some acting and movies and all that right That's now. Um, I'm doing more modeling shoots and everything. So look, right. I just saw you the sky is the limit, young yes, man. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You are well yeah. on your way. Right, I see. So young. Yeah, I see big things happening for you. Regardless of even if I knew your age, I know you say you probably don't like to discuss right. the age, but I feel like you are on the right track. Like, and I'm right. glad you stopped by us so we could say, look, we right. had him here. Yeah, we had, yeah, I mean, we had right. him here. I see big we things for right. you. And good wanna, luck. Good luck with get everything. Right. <laughs> hey, I've been in worse situations. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sure you have. Right. Thank God for being rich. I'm sure you have. Right. Look, I'm I'm sure you have. Have. It's going down in LA. It's going everything. And look, he got family in Charlotte. No advisor got his back. Y'all better watch it because we, we, we got free flyer month. Hey, if you can get me a flight, we'll reach me back up. We will be there. Booty who and we there. Right. Anytime you need some Charlotte, I'm Entourage, some real salt, keep around. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm saying, call us out there. If you out of LA, you having a roof party, something like that, call us out there. Not a roof party. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, right. I don't know if this is my mind. My, my, my wheels turning. My wheels are turning. That's all. Hey, yo, let me know if you find your own social media platforms already. What's up, everybody? Y'all can follow me on all uh, social media at La Richie. That's L I L R I C H Y E. Except for on Twitter, where it's L I L underscore R I C H Y E. Yeti. Yeti. So we got to ride out to your song. Introduce the song. Let them know so we're going to ride it out. And um, yeah, introduce it, man. Let them know. <laughs> Right now y'all about to listen to my new single featuring my big bro, Zay Tog, and it's called I'm in the bag. We finna get into it like this. No advisory podcast. We live with it, baby. Let's go. Dang. <laughs>